Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Unreal Level Editor Interface. We understand Unreal Engine Level Editor Interface guys. So let's get started. I double click on Unreal Engine icon available at the desktop. You can see Unreal Project Browser window got open. Under Project Categories, I select Games. Under Project Templates, I select a Blank Template. Project Type Blueprint, Target Platform Desktop, Quality Preset Maximum, Starter Content I am adding, you can see that, Ray Tracing Disabled, Project Location Desktop, Project Name My Project, I click on Create button. That creates a new project folder with the name My Project and opens the My Project in the Unreal Level Editor interface guys. You can see that my project is open in the Unreal Level Editor interface. This interface is called Unreal Level Editor interface, the place where you construct the game levels guys. This is the place where you construct your game levels. Let's understand this interface step by step. Unreal Level Editor interface is divided into 9 parts. They are menu bar, tab bar, tool bar, on the left hand side we have place actors window, in the middle we have viewport window, on the right hand side we have outliner window and details window, at the bottom we have content drawer, content browser window and output log window guys. Let's understand step by step. In the menu bar we find set of menus with set of commands used while constructing game levels. In the file menu we have commands to create new level, open level, save current level. We have commands for creating new project, opening the project etc guys. In the edit menu we have cut, copy, paste, duplicate, delete commands. We have commands to open editor preferences window, project settings window, plugins browser window etc. In the window menu we have commands for showing or hiding different windows as well as the commands for saving the current layout, loading the layout, removing the layout etc. In the tools menu we have various tools like we have debugger tools, we have profiler tools. In the build menu we have commands for building the light, we have command for building all levels etc. In the select menu we have commands for selections especially for selecting actors and all. In the actor menu, we have commands related to actors. For example, if I select this actor, you get set of commands. You can see that you have option to cut, copy, paste, duplicate, rename, etc. In the help menu, you get commands related to help. You can go to the documentation. You can go to C++ API reference to learn C++ API, etc. Guys. And in the right hand side, you can see it displays the currently open project name. So that's what you see in the menu bar. Next, we have the tab bar, the place where you tab group different sub windows. At present, you can see that the minimal underscore default level is open. That's why it is showing. If I go to content drawer, okay, click on starter content. We have materials folder. I open it. In that, we have predefined material. I double click on this m underscore basic floor material what happens is unreal engine opens the material editor so this is actually the material editor interface that you are seeing guys we can tab group the level editor and the the material editor so if i drag and drop you can see i have placed my level and the material editor one beside another in Unreal Engine, we get different editors guys, okay. We have label editor, we have the material editor for editing or constructing materials. If I go back to content drawer and for example, go to the architecture, in that we have few static mesh and all. If I double click this, it opens up in the static mesh editor guys. You can see it is also tab grouped. So that's what the tab group is. It is used to tab group sub windows guys. Next we have the toolbar where you find tools for most commonly performed tasks. Like we have save tool, 
we have mode drop down we have select mode landscape mode so we switch between the different modes depending upon the requirement next we have the create drop down which allows us to create the basic actors lights shapes etc it allows us to add content next we have blueprint drop down where we can open the level blueprint we can create new blueprint class etc next we have cinematic drop down the place where we get commands like add level sequence add master sequence and then we have play controls like play stop right next we have platforms drop down you can see it shows different platforms windows android etc on the right hand side we have settings drop down it allows us to open world settings window project settings window plugin browser window etc so that's what you see in the toolbar guys so if you click on the play button you are in the play mode if you stop now you are in the edit mode guys on the left hand side we have place actors window from there you can drag and drop the actors to your level for example if i go to shapes i can drag and drop the cube actor i can place the cube i go back to place actors i go to lights i can drag and drop the point light you can see that so place actors window contains the actors placeable actors which you can drag and drop to your level or place in the level guys next in the middle we have viewport window the place where you construct your game levels right next on the right hand side we have outliner window outliner window displays set of actors okay or it lists the actors currently present in your level so we have light source here we have skylight here we have a chair you can see we have floor we have table so outliner window make a list of currently present actors in your level guys next we have details window details window displays the properties of the selected actor for example i selected the table it is displaying the location rotation and scale of the table it is showing the static mesh it is showing the material of the table if i select the chair it displays the location rotation scale of the chair it displays the mesh of the chair actor it displays the material of the chair actor so it displays the properties of the selected actor and allows you to modify guys next we have content drawer if i click on content drawer it opens up the content browser guys it opens up the content browser window in which you see all your game content like you see static mesh materials you'll see textures so any asset that is required to make a game you can locate in this content browser window guys the content browser window allows you to import the content it allows you to create new content like you can create new materials blueprint class animations etc so the place where you manage all your game content guys next we have output log window output log window displays all the log messages right so that's about the unreal level editor interface guys i hope you got some idea about the unreal level editor interface if you are coming from unity if you already know unity okay we can easily compare the unity interface and the unreal level editor interface so in unity we get scene window and the game window guys right scene window the place where you construct your game scenes or game levels and the game window the place where you see the output of the main camera or the player view right here viewport acts like the scene window as well as the game window if you are in the play mode it acts like a game window like in unity if i stop it acts like a scene window and the outliner window is same as hierarchy window in unity game engine and the details window is same like inspector window in unity game engine and content browser window is same like the project window in unity game engine 
output log window is same like the console window in unity game engine guys so i'm just giving you an idea if you already know unity so it's easy for you to understand a real engine guys just i'm comparing the windows that are available in unity game engine and the windows that are available here in uh, unreal game engine guys that's it guys for this video tutorial in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about unreal engine i suggest you to watch this video again and again understand whatever i explain if you have any doubts do not hesitate to ask for more benefits and be updated do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep gaming keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial